one minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, today I rise to call attention to the NATO summit that will take place next week in Chicago. NATO was founded with the signing of the Washington Treaty in 1949 to safeguard the freedom and security of all of its members. Since then, the alliance has been the mainstay of the transatlantic cooperation that has been an important part of this nation's security. All 27 of our NATO allies, along with 22 non-NATO partners, have served shoulder to shoulder with our brave men and women in Afghanistan, working to ensure that that country never again becomes a safe haven for terrorists. In Chicago, we will continue important discussions on the transition of security responsibility from ISAF to the Afghans. Particularly in today's global economic environment, Mr. Speaker, it is essential that we recognize the value of NATO as a proven force multiplier. The Alliance is working to ensure that NATO is well prepared for future challenges. As we welcome our friends to Chicago on May 20th and 21st, we affirm the vitality of this transatlantic bond and of our continued commitment to our common defense. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and with that, I yield back.